Welcome back. Wow, we learned a lot within this one class till now. And now it's time to create our final grand composition with everything that we learned and created here step by step. So I would suggest to bring each work that you created during this entire class here on file. And if you keep your layers grouped according to each subject or object, well good enough because it will be very very clear to work with it. Now, it's time to work on Select any background that you want to work with or you can create a new one that you want to create here. Also, you are free to arrange and rearrange your composition in any way that you want. Bring your exclusively made stands and designs that you made for accessory items and place it according with your desserts. Now let's start by casting shadows for our composition. Assume any of the sides as your lighting source and make the casting shadows on another direction. For that, select any of your subject group, duplicate it by Ctrl J, right click and select Merge Group. Hold Ctrl and click on that particular layer thumbnail to make selection and make a new layer. Fill it with black color inside it. Hit Ctrl D for deselection. Drag and place it below the subject layer. Select Selection Tool B. E. Click to show transform controls. Make it active. And Right click on any of the corner and select distort. Now by placing cursor on one of the corners, you can transform it in a very random way, like this. Think of light source and adjust this shadow layer according to that in opposite side of light source. Lower down the opacity of that shadow layer to make it look a little bit more real. Similarly, create shadows for other up subjects in your composition. Here, Now, one by one, I am making this one a little bit different. Let us see what the variation is. Here in this one, I will explore a bit more with variation and for that select any of the selection tool, your rectangle selection tool, select the shadow area from that particular layer like this, hit Ctrl J to duplicate that particular selection 
again select the same area and delete from the earlier layer so that it's only once in your entire composition it's not overlapping select your duplicated area bring it in place and again use distort transform Select your duplicated area and bring it in place and again use distort transform and adjust it in a way it shows being casted on wall that it goes vertically because in reality some shadows if there is a wall behind they not necessarily to be just till floor it will also be bending towards the you know, wall so that effect is being created over here and this gives a more reality now use this style and create entire casting shadows wherever you feel with this bending effect somewhere with a flat effect according to your requirement Once done, let's add a more realistic feature to it, that is Blur Effect. Select particular layer, go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Add a nice 7 to 8 pixels blur. You can see in preview if it goes according to you, hit OK. And apply same filter to rest of the shadow layers. Easy way to do it is by clicking Alt Ctrl F. This will apply the last filter which is here the blur one. Let's have a clear look. For that, hit Ctrl 0 and navigate for a full screen canvas. Now to get entire composition, more reality, I need to adjust some highlights and shadows to each subject. For that, select each group of layer, 
paint it inside with white for highlights, black for shadows and remember you should have a very very low opacity so that it comes up naturally. By low opacity I mean 5 to 10 percent would be good enough to paint with. We are now pretty much done. It's time to add final touch, which is adding entire saturation, lightness, brightness, darkness, everything. How to do that? Select entire group of layer that you have been working that is required for your composition. Select the entire group. By holding shift, select one or click on the top one and then scroll down select the last one while holding shift this way you have selected all the required layers and group them for grouping it use the shortcut ctrl g now hit ctrl j to duplicate the group right click select merge group and hide another group visibility to work with only one thing Select lasso tool and in properties adjust 10 pixels feather or you can adjust more. Select any random area like this. Now hit ctrl U for hue saturation panel. Adjust its saturation. Increase for making your artwork more dynamic. If you are happy with it, hit ok. Hit ctrl D for deselection. Make another area. Here is selected and adjust it accordingly. If you are happy with all of your adjustments, it's time to save your project. Save it as a PSD so that you will be able to do further work if you require and it will be a very editable file over here and also you can export it into a JPEG format that will be suitable for uploading, suitable for sharing and printing purposes. With this, 
I would like to take your leave, leaving you with lots of interesting facts, styles that you might didn't knew earlier, and also try to give your techniques a warm up with freshness. I hope you got entertained with and was interested throughout the class with me. If yes, I would like to hear from you in review section. Also, I know that you are a wonderful artist from inside. So, I would like to watch your projects and artworks that you created with me while running throughout this class. Do you want more such interesting classes from me? Here, make sure you follow me here and when I upload my next class, you will be getting updated automatically. Also, if you find something useful here in the class, please ask your friends to join in too and gain a lot of interesting facts and practices from this class. So with this, I will love to see you in my next class.